Hello friends, welcome back to Living with Cambria and today I am doing a cook and clean with me. So if you want to see this super easy rotisserie pork roast as well as get some motivation, stay tuned. So to start this recipe off, I am making an infused olive oil. I like to make this at least an hour before, that way it has time to really infuse the olive oil. But I use a good amount of garlic, as well as I am using this seasoning packet. However, normally I would use fresh rosemary and thyme, but you can really use whatever spices you enjoy. And I'll just let that sit to the side and really infuse the olive oil for flavor. And then since it is in the rotisserie, I like to use this pork shoulder butt because it is a more fatty piece of meat and it really allows for the fat to render down and add a lot of natural juices and flavor. And then I'm just wrapping it up. You can use twine. I have these twine like string things that I use. I don't really know what to call them, but that way it just stays in place while it's on the rotisserie. Now that it's on the spigot, I like to generously brush over the olive oil all over the pork. I want to make sure that all the creases, all the areas get this infused olive oil. That way, one, it's going to just give it a lot of flavor, but it's also going to give you that really nice crispy outside that you really want from a good rotisserie. And you just pop it into your rotisserie for 20 to 30 minutes per pound, depending on how well you like your meat. I go right around 20 to 25 minutes because I don't want mine overcooked. Now I like to clean as I cook. So as this rotisserie pork is going, I'm just gonna clean up the mess that I've already made. That way after dinner, I'm not having a ton of stuff to do and I can really enjoy the time with the kids before they have to go to bed. Now, once your rotisserie is out, you do want to take it off of the spigot right away and get the string off so they don't stick and pull away all the crispy skin. But then you want to let your pork set for probably about 10 to 20 minutes so that all the juices don't run out. Is that good? <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. Oh, one finger, not thumbs. <laughs> and then right after dinner, I will clean everything up to me, there is nothing better than getting everything done the night before. 
That way the next day I can wake up to a clean house and not have to be stressed out about all the things that has to be done right away. Now I do like to wash all the things from the rotisserie by hand and the reason I do that is this is a larger piece of appliance that I have to store in my basement so instead of having it sit on my counter until the next day when the dishwasher is done, I like to wash this, get it in the basement right away, that way I'm not staring at it and it's just done. And then on to my favorite step. I actually love cleaning out my sink. I love watching people clean out their sink. It's just one thing I find very satisfying. I probably do this two to three times a day. Whenever there's stuff in the sink and I've emptied the sink, I will wash it. So usually two, but on busy days, I will wash it out three times a day just to make sure that it's looking nice. For me, if things look nice, it's a lot easier to keep them that way. Where if I let it get overboard, I'll let it sit like that for weeks on end. So I try not to ever let things get too crazy. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you try this recipe and you are on Instagram, I would love if you guys would tag me. I love seeing what people do and if I give them any motivation to try something they haven't tried before. But until next time, bye.